Hi, welcome to Physionic, where we learn the body from the macro to the micro. In this content, we will be diving into some heavy molecular biology, investigating how mitochondrial fission is associated to autophagy. Said differently, how a mitochondrion split into two is associated with mitochondrial degradation or destruction. Learn your body, a science-based education. This information is brought to us by a study I will have linked for you as well as my notes explaining everything in greater detail and any amendments that may follow. A bit of background before the data. It is thought, according to these researchers, that mitochondrial autophagy or destruction, known as mitophagy, is mediated by a protein called pink, which sticks to the mitochondrial membrane. Once this protein binds mitochondria, it leads to a recruitment of a protein parkin. Parkin is a ubiquitin ligase, meaning it is a protein that tags within the cell for destruction. So parkin is recruited to pink associated mitochondria and tags them using ubiquitin, a protein tag. At this point, the mitochondrion has been tagged for degradation, which is when the protein LC3 will aid in the formation of a membrane capable of enveloping the mitochondrion, known as a phagophore. From there, once the mitochondrion has been enveloped, it is destroyed through the remaining autophagy pathway. Typically, the cell stops this from occurring by cleaving the pink protein into a smaller version of itself that is harmless to the mitochondrion. But if the mitochondrion needs to be destroyed, the cell will not cleave pink, allowing its full version to bind the mitochondria, and the process I just outlined occurs. So, needless to say, all these proteins are associated with autophagy. It is also thought that this process can be especially activated when mitochondria undergo fission, wherein a single mitochondrion will split into two smaller mitochondria. Now that we have a bit of background, what does the data show? Here, the researchers have added three drugs that promote mitochondrial fission within the cell and are comparing the effects against a control that does not receive drug and are tracking what happens to mitochondria with red fluorescence. As you can see, the unmanipulated mitochondria are elongated, while in all three drug conditions, mitochondria have undergone fission, presumably, and formed circles away from the elongation due to the fission stimulus. Now, throwing LC3 in green into the mix, where LC3 and mitochondria associate is yellow, implying their association with autophagy as these mitochondria are being prepped for degradation. Interestingly, in the control, there's no association between LC3 and mitochondria, but it happens heavily in each fission drug condition. So at this point, we can see that fission and autophagy are being connected, but is it pink parkin mediated? In the control, we can see that pink is cleaved, protecting mitochondria from autophagy. However, in the drug conditions, pink is not cleaved by the cell, making it the full-fledged marker for mitochondrial degradation. This is further evidenced in the images as there is co-localization to the mitochondria by pink only when the drugs are added. Finally, this is again evidenced to be pink parkin mediated through the co-localization of parkin labeled as PARC2 and LC3 to the mitochondria, again indicating a parkin mediated autophagy. Admittedly, this does not say which comes first, but likely the order is correct, as outlined before. So, in conclusion, this data shows evidence that mitochondrial fission can lead to mitochondrial autophagy, known as mitophagy, through pink parkin. It would have been nice to see a knockdown or knockout of pink or parkin or both to confirm this connection between the proteins and the stimulus for mitophagy, but it is good evidence nonetheless. With that, I hope this proved interesting and informative, and I hope to have the absolute pleasure of speaking with you in the near future. Bye.